What is going on guys? I'm gonna talk about my favorite blockchain game called The Sandbox um, and how to get started building in it. The Sandbox pretty much is Minecraft plus Roblox built on crypto and the game is in its alpha. Like it hadn't even hit its beta yet. It only had one season of alpha where they gave out these like alpha passes. You could either buy them or win them. Um, and they gave a ton of rewards out for the players who got in early and there are ways to win alpha passes alpha season two is coming up in the next couple of weeks so really exciting time we're super early and why do we care about learning how to make stuff in the sandbox honestly it just looks like a cartoony game the answer is because Everything that you make pretty much can be sold as an NFT and this one has five copies selling at $69,000. So what we're seeing right now, all of these NFTs are exclusively creators who got into the sandbox fund, the creator fund. What does this mean? So basically later this year, and I'm betting in a couple of months, maybe three or four, they're going to open it up to everyone to sell stuff on the marketplace. But right now, they're only accepting applications from creators and then giving them projects to work on. So all of these are people in the creator fund, but these people are getting 100% of the money that they're making from each NFT sale. So how do you get in the creator fund? Well, you have to apply. And you apply with the portfolio, which is the whole point of this course, to get you a metaverse portfolio so that you can apply to the creator fund if you want to regardless you're gonna need a portfolio okay so the sandbox um, before we go into create and kind of look at the game maker and Vox edit uh, which are super exciting tools uh, let's 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 talk a little bit more about the sandbox I think it's worth getting into okay basically how it works is you make 3d stuff in what's called Vox edit you sell it on a marketplace and then you use digital stuff that you either buy or make in the no-code game maker. Um, and there's this in-game currency, think about Robux, but it's actually a cryptocurrency. It's a token called SAND. Um, that's like the currency of everything here. There's LAND. Um, I'll get into LAND, um, which you may or may not have seen this map. Basically, it's it's kind of wild how much real estate is actually selling for. So for one plot of land, which is actually pretty big, you can build a pretty big game on it. Um, prices right now are, I think the lowest you can get one for is between 15 to $25,000. And that's one. Um, Squiggly's plot of land, uh, we basically have two plots of land. We got in a little bit early, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, we're right here, these red, and then obviously our partner for Course 1, Ape Harbor, is right here. These guys own 144 plots of land, which is ridiculous. If you're asking yourself, what's the point of all this if I can't afford land? You gotta realize that most people on this map have absolutely no idea what to put on their land. They're investors who don't have time or, or don't know how to build stuff on top of their land, making it the perfect opportunity to just hop in, start learning now, and jump in. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, we're gonna get Vox at it. Um, but I do wanna talk about Game Maker. There are like two different um, ways that you can build stuff in the sandbox. The Game Maker is no code. You can easily change up you know, the camera angling, uh, some stats about your character, and just kind of build out your world. Unfortunately, this is really tragic, guys. The only way to get it is by having a Windows machine. It's disappointing, I'm sorry, Mac, Mac people. However, if you have a Mac, you can go into Box Edit, which is what we're gonna do. It's gonna be lit. Basically, um, you model, you create stuff, you animate stuff, and then you sell it. So, sound like a plan? I think, I, think, I think we should get into it. So hit the download button going on sandbox.game. Again, we clicked on on the left side, create, and we're hitting download. Download whatever you have, and then afterwards, let's hop right into box edit and start building some stuff.